Hi, this is Miss Nagel. I teach 10th grade World Lit, and I am here to introduce the Paxton Shaw Good Job Award, which is something new that we're starting here at the high school. And it is just a way for students and staff to recognize the people around them who are doing a good job at something. It doesn't have to be anything big. It could be just somebody put a smile on your face at the right time, or you see somebody trying really hard just a way to recognize the people around you for doing something positive. And positivity is definitely something we could use more of after the past few years that we've been having. So I'm excited to get this going here at the high school and have it be a way that we can come together as a community, which is what Buford is all about. Hey everybody, um, my name is Natalie Shaw and this is my husband, Greg, Greg. Shaw. Um, I am a fifth grade teacher at Buford Senior Academy. Um, I've been with Buford for four years and as part of the Buford family, I have a son, his name is Paxton. He was born June the 10th, 2017 and he passed away on October the 7th, 2019. Um, he passed away of what we call SUDC which stands for Sudden Unexplained Death in Childhood. He was a perfectly healthy, vivacious, uh, full personality, blonde hair, blue eyed little boy who would keep you on your toes and would definitely always keep a smile on your face. He was a boy of few words. However, when he um, did speak, he had one phrase and his one phrase amongst many words he had was good job. But you couldn't just say it as good job. You have to stick your finger in the air and you have to say good job. Woo! Good job. And he said it to anybody. He said it to about himself when he thought he did a good job and he said it to others when he thought they did a good job. He said it to the haircut guy. He did, yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, Every time he got a haircut. it wasn't a very good haircut. <laughs> yes, it was a terrible By the haircut. end he said, good job. <laughs> yes. So if you can, you know, get anything from this, it would be just to, to, to let the small little light of a two and a half year old baby boy to shine within you and to always remember to, to do a good job no matter what that includes. Thank you guys. Thank you. Your advisement teacher should have a handout that explains to you exactly how the Good Job Award and recognition is going to work. If you have any questions, you can email me or stop by my room, but I am super excited to get this going. We have some really cool things in store for the people who are nominated, the people who are chosen, and I just can't wait to get this started and to have all of you be a part of it. Thank you. Hey guys, we're here with Spanish Club Officers. Um, this week we're starting a project called the Poseta Project. It started back in 2009 and we're carrying it on. So the bracelets come from people within Central American countries and all the sales that we make through our fundraiser go back to them. We're going to start selling them at lunch next week and at International Night on Thursday, March 3rd at from 6 to 8. And if you're in Beta Club or NHS, you can get hours by volunteering. Each bracelet is worth $5 and the person that made its name is signed on it as well. So you guys should get one. The Pulsera Project is a fair trade nonprofit organization that works with artisans in Nicaragua and Guatemala and provides a market for their handmade bracelets or pulseras in schools across the U.S. Each pulsera costs only $5 and comes tagged with the photo and the signature of the artist who made it. Money raised from your school's pulsera sale will sustain employment for nearly 200 artisans and will also fund housing, healthcare, scholarships, social enterprises, and other empowerment programs that benefit the artists and communities throughout Central America. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing time coloring the world with the Pulsera Project in your school.